This is the second part of 1E where we've created the report for the phone call reminders and now we're going to tidy it up a bit. First of all we need to make sure that we've incorporated the house style. But before thinking about the house style it's probably better to get all the data right because then you don't have to do the house style twice. So we'll go through and we'll have a look. It would be useful if we had a title every time there was a church, a new church, and every time there was a new booking. So what we'll do, in the church header, so there's a church ID header, we'll just move this down a little bit, and we'll put a title for church. And remember we'll use a label rather than a text box, and then we'll know that this is a new church. And then when we get onto booking, we'll put a title for booking as well. So we know we've moved on to a booking. So here's our title, booking. Now, what we're also going to do is just have a look at some data we don't need. This summary, we don't need all that text that says summary for, and here summary for, that's just not necessary. But it is useful here where we've got sum, instead of having the word sum, if we actually say what this is the total for, well this is the total for the booking because if you look it's in the booking ID footer. So I'm going to put here total for booking. And I'm going to do the same for the church ID footer. I'm going to put there total for church or I could put total owing for church. Uh, I'll leave grand total as it is, that's absolutely fine. But for each of these calculations, you can see at the moment it's only adding up the price charged, but we need to include the quantity. So for each one, we also need to multiply by the quantity, like that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste each of those. Let's make this uh, it back to its normal size again. And it's just like the calculations that we've done before. Unfortunately, the real tasks have a lot of repetition in them as well. And now what we'll do is we'll have a look at our report so far. So we can see church, and then we've got information about church. Then we've got booking, we've got data for the booking, total for booking, a new booking, okay, and the total for the booking. Let's have a look, is this correct? Three lots of 60 is 180 pounds. Two lots of 100 is 200 pounds, plus 110 is 310 pounds. So it looks like all of that is adding up right. Now we need to sort out our house style. There are just a few reminders, but if you haven't used access since last time, you'll need to go back and set your colors. So we'll go for 238, 250, 180. And we do that for all the different sections, even if they're not being used, because it just means that you won't get any white gaps that might happen to appear. And then, of course, what we need to do is we need to look at the alternate rows as well. So for each section where you can set an alternate row colour, you need to do that. Um, we probably don't need the date and the time, but I'm just going to leave them on there anyway, because they're not doing any harm. And what we'll do now is look at the alternate rows. So we'll change our alternate row colour to be that colour. And remember, just keep doing that and repeating it for each of these so that they're all the same and we don't get any problems with the alternate rows. That should be enough. I'm going to use Control A to select everything and change it to Times New Roman. Uh, what I'm going to do is change them all to 12 to start off with and all to black. And then I can work on the ones that matter. So this one needs to be red, because it's a title. And it needs to be 24. And it needs to be bold. And church, and I'll use control to select booking as well. They need to be red, underlined, and 14. And what you'll find now is that this report is a lot easier to read. This has just become truncated, so let's sort that out. Contact mobile telephone just about fits, price charge just about fits, so we're okay. We seem to be okay with most of our data there. So we'll have a look now, go back to view, in fact we'll go for a print preview and have a look at what it's going to look like. There we go, and it's much easier to follow now. Oh there we go, look, we have got a little bit of truncated data, so you just need to make those a little bit wider and make sure that everything fits in. And we'll have a look at there's page two. Okay, so that is that task completed. It's all tidied up. We've met all of the requirements 
that were asked for, but just in case, just go through and tick off each requirement. Have I completed every part of that requirement? And make sure that you've done it. And do this for all the tasks, because it's going to make sure that you meet everything that's been asked for. Because what you don't want to do is do all the work really well, and then lose a mark because you've missed one little bit out. So that's the end of that task.